how many students do you have in the entrepreneurship minor? We have 113 right now. Do they come into that minor because they want to start a business? That's a great question. Um, some of them come into the minor because they want to start a business. And uh, some of the, the our, our capstone class, they actually spin up a business. Others just realize that they want these tools because they may want to start a business at a certain at a certain point in time, or or they're just interested in entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. or they've had one of the entrepreneurship professors in some of their other classes. So then they take a second class in the minor, maybe not they haven't signed up for the minor, and they start to really like it. And uh, and so there's a there's a number of reasons why uh, they engage in the minor. And the majors all over the map. Yeah, absolutely. We yeah. have, uh, I think, 52% of our minors are actually in the business school. Okay. The, the rest are from around campus, which is, to me, that is one of the small victories so far. It means we're actually making inroads to other colleges within the university. Right. Um, and then within the business school, they're all over the map from finance to uh, accounting to management. Right. So forth. What percentage are women in the program? A uh, great question. Um, I believe we're at thirty eight percent right now. It's actually not bad. So, uh, what are you doing? Because I do know you mentioned that you were, you know, you're working really hard to um, Im- improve that number, right? Probably, you know, to to reflect the country, which is, I think, women are just north of fifty percent, right? Yeah. Um, but even to bring it from thirty eight to fifty percent, what are you doing, and what are the challenges you're encountering at, at seeing that through to fruition? Well, we're doing a number of things. Uh, the first is messaging, you know, how we talk about what we do and mm. about entrepreneurship. So we don't use the word entrepreneurship as much. We're using other words such as problem solver, mm. creative, creator, innovator, innovation, change maker. Nice. And so we, we're trying to have students understand and be able to identify that, hey, I, I may not be an entrepreneur. I may not identify as one, but I end up identify as these other people. So that's one. The second thing is we're, we spent, I spend a lot of time talking to faculty um, and administration in the different colleges mm-hmm. to really get the word about, out about what we're doing. And where we've been hyper-focused is around uh, the arts, whether it be digital art, physical art, um, theater, music, and really uh, talking to these students, and a lot of them are females, uh, about the opportunity in terms of entrepreneurship and understanding, especially in that business, you're probably going to be an entrepreneur. You are going to build your own thing, whether it's an art studio or you're going to sell your art or you're going to create your own music. Mm-hmm. And there's so many tools are available now that let us help you do that. And so we, we spend a lot of time on that in terms of messaging, getting in front of people, talking uh, to people throughout the university, which can be challenging at times uh, um, for a number of reasons. And the other thing that we do is we're very intentional about the program. Mm. Uh, In terms of our speakers, you were one of our speakers the other night, but we bring in a wide range of speakers. We don't just bring in entrepreneurs that started a company, went through the whole entrepreneurial cycle, then sold it for millions of dollars, and then they moved on. A lot of students just don't connect or mm-hmm. identify with it. So we bring in artists that have been successful mm-hmm. and they talk about how they started their business. They started how they built their brand. We bring in people to teach around storytelling, which I think is a very big part of life yep. and entrepreneurship. Yep. We bring people to talk about negotiations. About We had one called Networking for Shy People and because building networks is so important. That's great. So we try to bring all these things that are not only... Uh, that are, that are relatable and also provide tools for for these students. And with that, we hope we're casting a wider net and a mi- more diverse net of people that were in, that want to engage in entrepreneurship. Carol Schultz here. Thanks for watching this excerpt from Authentically Successful. The conversation doesn't end there. So if you want to hear this episode in full and all my conversations with many other successful founders and CEOs, please visit verticalelevation.com slash podcast.